is Crash Bandicoot finally taking form for Smash Bros? So, when it comes to Smash Bros leaks, we haven't really seen anything new besides, you know, people saying that Crash Bandicoot could be the next fighter for the gazillionth time, which isn't really that interesting. To be honest, I don't want to read a hundred weeks saying that, oh, Crash Bandicoot's going to be in Smash Bros, he's going to be in Smash Bros, just trust me, you know, you know, reading the same thing gets tiring after a while, we really need a, this is why I don't like the Smash Speculator community, we always expect the same characters, and hey, guess what, they don't get into Smash Bros, because we always expect the same characters, okay, let's look at when Sephiroth was revealed, okay, we're expecting either Crash Bandicoot or the Fortnite guy. No one was was saying it was going to be Sephiroth, so no one predicted them. Same thing with the Xenoblade characters. No one predicted them. Everybody was saying it's going to be Crash because of Crash Anniversary, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? And the number one, and Smash Bros. Insider says that it's not going to happen. Yep. It's not going to happen. Crash Bandicoot is not going to happen. According to YouTuber, Nate the Hate, you know, has couched that about Master Chief and Crash Bandicoot, especially the latter. You know, Master Chief has been, you know, he is not completely ruling out the character. But he said that two of those characters are not coming to the game. And, yep, there we go, Master Chief and Crash Bandicoot. Specifically, Crash Bandicoot. Everybody's saying that Crash Bandicoot's gonna be in. Everyone in the dog and cat are saying Crash Bandicoot's gonna be in. And, Smash Insider said, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I wouldn't be surprised that probably the other characters owned by Activision as well, such as Tracer and Spiral the Dragon as well. So, that's basically it. Goodbye.